So inflation data came out and it's showing 6.5%, which honestly, we were all expecting a drop. We just didn't know how big of the drop. Now it's been a little bit bigger than what we've seen in the previous months because it was 7.1 and then the 7.9 and the stock market re reacted positively because basically it's saying that the Fed is on the right track with the measures they've taken by increasing rates to with hold the economy together and also understanding that the jobless claims meaning those who are applying for uh, unemployment actually went down which is an indicator that the labor market is still holding strong even though you may not see raises and new jobs happening as swiftly but it's still holding strong the point of all this is saying that the indicators right now is used car prices have gone down. Eggs are still up because you see many prices in your grocery store pretty high. Uh, haircuts, things like haircuts, uh, other little services that you pay for have gone up. Uh, even my haircut went up to like $35. It was like a 30% increase. Suffice it to say, the fact is the measures that the Fed is taking is actually working and because it takes a while for those rate increases to really take effect, it gives more way or gives more indication that more is going to happen. Even though they're still going to be increasing, they're just not going to be increasing as fast. The point is that because this progress is happening, you can likely start to indicate because this is six months in a row that it, the data has fallen as far as the inflation. So you can start to realize, okay, what will be happening? Well, there's early sites that rents should start to decrease towards the end of this year. There's also the measure of what is this going to do for the housing market? The Fed is still going to raise rates because regardless of what anything said, it's not 2%. So anything you're saying, anything you're seeing, if the inflation rate is not at 2%, the Fed is not going to back off and start turning the other way. And even once it gets to 2%, I think we're, they're still going to hold for a little bit, things stabilize, and then turn around and go back the other way and see how can they, they start to release the hold that they have on the economy. Suffice to say, things are going in a positive direction. It's still stuck because we're still entrenched in a high inflation um, time. It's just important that you understand what's going on in the economy because all this that's going on really indicates that, hey, we're getting a forward movement. And it may come down and we may get in range quicker than we think. No one truly knows, but we're at least headed in the right path rather than we're doing all these measures and the inflation rate is still going up. Hi, my name is Jonathan. I want to help you build wealth. And part of that is understanding all the things around you and how do you make good decisions. Like right now, if you're trying to buy a car, used prices are going down. Follow me for more.